boom, do the do the do that dance, 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 do yeah. that dance. Boom, 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 boom. Brought to you by Electro Dance Academy in Mesa, Arizona. All right, All right. we're live. We live, we live, we're here. Got my. <laughs> Coffee and my dudes a dance cup. GTD. Yeah, so I just want to say thank you for all the listeners out there. Um, if you guys like this uh, episode, we appreciate a subscription, a like, a share. If you don't like the episode or the show, just don't share it. And don't tell anybody that you don't like it. Yeah, just, just go ahead and move yourself. along. Keep it to yourself. And uh, yeah, we have a special guest yourself. here. His name is Max Thompson. Let's give it up. Yeah! Yes, sir. Studio what's audience up? just went wild if you didn't what's hear What's up, it. everybody? What's up, YouTube? And what's up, Podbean? Podbean. Uh, that's where we post. It goes on like Apple Podcasts. Oh, okay, what's up? Yeah, podcast. podcast. I'm happy to be here. Dudes that dance. Dudes that dance podcast. And lady dudes that dance. And every dude. Dude is a non gender specific. Yeah, term. exactly. That's what we At do. At least the way we We're use ahead it. of the game. Yeah, the way we use I it. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, how you doing, man? I'm good. Just uh, stuck in town. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I, I've been stuck in Arizona because uh, my car unfortunately died. And What uh, happened to it? So first the AC broke on my way to California. The mm-hmm. AC broke, so I was in the middle of the desert. Oh, you know, like sucks. traveling from Arizona to California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's like the worst <laughs> trip to Dang, have an AC. Dang, you got stuck mid drive. Yeah, no, my AC broke. AC went out. So mid-drive. I was like, "Can we cuss on this?" Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, so I was like, "F that." Yeah, I stopped. <laughs> that cuss whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, because in the future, Watch your letters. I, I already know I'm going to. <laughs> so um, the AC broke midway, and I was like, "Screw this!" So I turned around, and I, like I took it to my dad's work. They fixed the AC, and then. As soon as they fix the AC, I'm leaving the dealership, and then my engine's overheating, and it smells oh. like, like real, like not good car stuff. Jeez. Like, Jeez, so Louise. I had to get out, and um, then I got had to get a tow truck, and now it's back in the shop. But um, yeah, so I've been stuck here um, ever since I've been training HHI with uh, electrolytes. Like mm-hmm. I've been here for like three weeks straight up. Jeez, That's a Louise. long time. And, um, they don't do they know what's wrong with your car? Yeah, they figured it out. Um, I think Very it's good. gonna be fixed in a couple of days. But That's not too bad then. Yeah, but wow. It's been um, kind of annoying. I've been sure. yeah, just kind of <laughs> just chilling, you know. So that's cool. But I mean, it's it's cool because like in LA, I don't necessarily have to do it, be anywhere right now. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm just kind of chilling with family and friends. So. Cool. That's right. Cool. That's man. awesome. And then uh, so we a few years talking about HHI and stuff because I wanted to get into that. You're setting a piece for Electro Elite HHI, and then you're setting a piece for Mega Crew with Phoenix. Mm. And how's that process been? Um, I mean, compared to like when you used to set pieces on Electro, maybe 2015 when you were a kid, yeah. and now you're an adult setting pieces. What's the, <laughs> what's the what's the that yeah process like, or what do you what what's your perspective of all that? Um, the process is crazy. It's a lot different. Like, I mean, back in the day, me and Phoenix were like super crazy about the the academy and like we would set so many mm. pieces yeah it's because we had a lot more time on our hands back then now yeah. as we're older i mean we don't have as much time to dedicate strictly to hhi mm-hmm. so this process um i feel like it went a lot smoother because we have so much experience with setting pieces like mm-hmm. setting mega crew pieces setting uh varsity crew pieces setting adult pieces whatever um for me personally like the elite piece i like legit for like a month straight, like I was like obsessing over it. I was yeah. like, That's for tight. some reason, I was like, um, because it was like the closer. Like mm-hmm. since it was the closer, I like I felt like so much more pressure. pressure. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. So I like was obsessing over it to make it like the best it could be. That's why I didn't turn turn the mix in for like yeah a month. You guys were asking for the mix, and I was it's like, it's so good. It is super tight. <laughs> I was like, I can't turn the mix in because like I get ideas like the day of or like the next day. Like yeah, so yeah, I yeah. can't turn it in because like I'm gonna get a better idea. So pretty much the elite piece is one of my favorite pieces of like content I've ever made in my life. Wow. That's tight. It's like, I thought about it like if Outlaws was doing a closer, what would it how look would like? I want it to look like? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I just set it on the teen girls and Christian. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. We I do that to on, a lot. I set, it on, <laughs> I set it on elite and I was like, this is exactly what I want an Outlaws closer to look like. So they just have to deliver. How'd they do? Yeah. They're doing pretty good. I mean, I just I just finished it and I left, so yeah, yeah. I didn't get to see. Yeah, it. I don't. They have to clean it and stuff. But yeah, uh, yeah. it's hard because it's the closer, so they're, they're gas. already gas. gas. So oh, we're actually sure. we're actually taking out. Um, there's a section before the HH. Your set, we're taking it out and we're we're gonna make it easier on them. Mm-hmm. Like add some grooves more chill so they could breathe so they could have more energy for your set. Yeah, they so need, they need the most energy because I put in a bunch of. 
athletic. Mm -hmm. It's not like there's no choreo. I mean, there's choreography, but it's like moments, very much so moments and athletic yeah. movement and visuals and pictures, and that takes a lot of core strength and a lot of like yeah, athletic like athleticism. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, we t I was telling you earlier, we me and Kyle, we just spoke at a conference, mm -hmm. and the conference where we're, we touched on three keys. Uh, the first one was formula formula behind making a winning dance routine number two was culture number three was mindset and we talked about with we talked about mindset with phoenix last week and it was really cool mm -hmm. um but i wanted to ask you like if someone's like how do i create a winning routine like formula wise with the winning winning routine like what's your opinions about that what do you think is a winning routine is it um let's say what type of routine? just like, say two minutes two minutes eight man seven man let's just do that like hhi Shit. what's I the mean, formula behind that because you've won it twice you've yeah. got second and then you got third in the world with outlaws so you know what you're doing so what's what do you think in your mind is the formula behind a creating a winning routine i think in my mind the formula behind it is um for hhi specifically you mm -hmm. have to have styles which yeah. um mm -hmm. <laughs> i personally like i like doing the styles but it's not my favorite thing but you have to incorporate it in a clever way to where it fits your crew or mm -hmm. whatever um so that's one thing another thing like a formula to win hhi is um really just being original like mm -hmm. having original moments not looking like everyone else yeah like standing out and having super original like either tricks or blow-ups or moments. visuals yeah yeah, vision, moments. yeah yeah moments is a key thing like i remember me or me nico and sal we would like mm -hmm. count how many moments we had we're like okay yeah. do we have 16 <laughs> yeah. okay we're good no yeah. we need two more we need 18 yeah. yeah we legit would count moments because moments is how you place top three like if yeah. you have no moments i mean you could be very clean but if you're very clean it has to be perfect so different it has to be perfect and it has and to be so perfect because there's some there's some like crews from japan yeah. that maybe don't have a ton of like blow ups and moments but they literally like look like clones of each other and There's their another technique crew. is perfect like i'm thinking of that another varsity crew, crew. you know who i'm talking about the varsity who had like that, that yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, that's uh not you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, kind of boom. Kind of boom. Yeah, 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 yeah. boom. They're yeah. amazing. Oh, but they're another so LA nuts. crew that you know doesn't really have any moments, but they're just really clean is the Maker Empire with Bo from Fanny oh, Pack. Yeah, yeah. He has a lot of. But it's know, hard to it's hard that's to really do that hard. without moments. Yeah, we said the same thing when we were talking about formula in our in our little talk mm -hmm. this weekend too. And so. I think um, with like Maker Empire and crews like that, mm -hmm. it's their they focus a lot on styles too. Like their whole piece is styles. Yeah, they don't have like. Like every single section is a different style, and they're clean, and they have a cool look, so that will push them like to top three. That's yeah. true. That's true. But they in my opinion, yeah. like um, when it comes to formula, is originality, having like a, a niche about you. Like you guys were the electrolytes. Like you guys had like a a thing about you. People mm -hmm. remembered you. You had the sign. You had the green. Yeah. Um, Allies yeah. had the hats. It was like we had a persona about us. Yeah. You know? And like other crews that have won, like mixed elements they did like the iron man thing you yeah, know yeah, yeah 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 oh, everyone yeah. has like a thing that like a, a kind of a niche or like a persona that like makes you like pushes stand you out to, yeah make, makes you stand out and yeah. pushes you to the top three i think yeah for sure that's tight. hhi man yeah coming up in it's LA. Beast. we'll see if it's are you guys gonna if you're in la are you gonna go check it out oh 100 i'll probably yeah. be there it's, yeah. What is it, September like fifth? It's September third, third through the fifth, and 5th. it's in Burbank where World thing. of Dance was filmed. Oh, too easy. So same hotel, yeah. yeah it's nice. Hopefully, yeah. it doesn't get canceled or anything. So I know, yeah. I'm hoping. they canceled the monster show last week in LA because of COVID. Yeah. So hopefully, that, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't cancel. I mean, yeah, Mookie I hit me up on Instagram. He's like, "Are you guys coming out?" Blah blah blah. Like two days ago. Oh, so I was like, yeah. We'll so he thinks so it's maybe happening. so he thinks it's happening so hopefully it happens I, it better not cancel because if that cancels and other things will cancel and then, i know that's like my fucking career i yeah, know for real. seriously it's so annoying like my yeah how's career. yeah how's that been it's this been last awful. couple like, of years i mean the whole covid quarantine stuff yeah has been, it's been like a blessing and a curse yeah first when it comes to um our jobs like yeah what we do is for a career like as electrobots is we travel we perform and we get a performance rate and that's kind of how we've been making money yeah. um obviously when COVID hit all performances went away completely yeah. everything any yeah. performance so we, yeah. we kind of turned to social media to um grow our following and to grow and try and like do the whole social media stuff and how you guys started with vine <laughs> you guys started with 
Remember, yeah, yeah, I remember you guys blowing up on Vine. It was pretty. Yeah, cool. I remember that too. Yeah, we've uh, been we've been doing social media. We know how it works. We know what to do. But sometimes, like, we just it's hard to like keep up keep with up. it. Like, yeah, you, you it's have a, to you'd be dedicated to it. You yeah. have to do it every day like it's a job. Yeah, that's the only way you'll blow up if you're consistent and do it every day, every day like it's a job. But we tend to we gravitate towards other stuff. We like to do more. Like we like social media, but we like to like make these big like performance shows like yeah we like to do yeah social media we do it when we have time and like when we're not doing anything bigger yeah, yeah you're making sense. like five videos a day and then just Posting sharing them th- throughout the week oh yeah if you can tell you yeah well that <laughs> i got that from uh there's this guy on tiktok he's a entrepreneur and he talked about he's like i film all my videos on monday i do i do like five podcasts on monday and he does all his content on monday and then he just chills throughout the week it. Yep. works on his business and he distributes it throughout every day he posts a video I think that's mm-hmm. really smart more people should do that I'm sure a lot of people do that batching yeah. right I think it's Logan from uh, Logan Paul impulsive right doesn't he do that doesn't he film like three or four podcasts a day yeah. and then it's a productivity uh, thing it's called batching like when you do mm-hmm. like whatever it is I, I used it like in my old job when I had to like sit down and do hours for da 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 it's like you sit down and you do the same task over and over and over again and you become more proficient at it mm-hmm. makes it go by faster so yeah, that's same what, thing same um, concept that's what we do as bots or me and Phoenix specifically we we'll make like one day like a Sunday night we'll make like four choreography pieces yeah. we'll just make them yeah. And then Monday we go early, like early in the morning, we'll go shoot them all. Then we have four videos and he like edit, he'll edit them on Tuesday yeah. or whatever. So now we have four videos just to post one day, one day, one day, and then we do it again the next week. So Smart. you make the mixes, he makes the, the videos and mm-hmm. you guys create the choreography together and then you yeah. guys do the videos together. So you guys have a good little system going on. Yeah, we do. I, yeah, I make all the music stuff and I, then he like edits the videos and yeah, we make the choreo. Do you guys so. ever come close to breaking up? breaking up <laughs> yeah yeah um, have you not i mean we've gotten arguments before of course about right? what this um, <laughs> guy got excited so i mean because me and him are very much um we're both like we're, we're both very like kind of not stubborn but we're very like prideful in our in our work in our yeah. material in the beginning we were very like if it's like one of us doesn't like like the other person's idea or like vice versa we all shut down and Dom would be the one to kind of like he's always the, he was always the middleman. Yeah. So yeah. he'd be like, guys, let's just do this. Then we kind of go with Dom's, <laughs> like, Dom's whatever he wants, kind of. Yeah. So like just get the practice going. But um, now we've gotten like way better at um, just like if like if we like are butting heads in rehearsal. Yeah. We kind of like just pause for a second and like we think about the bigger picture. We're like, okay. Yeah. We just need to get this shit done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we, can we move just on. say fuck it. Either yeah. Phoenix will say fuck it and go with my idea, or I will say f it and go with. Phoenix. Yeah, yeah. So letting yeah, yeah. go of the ego and like working as adult, like yeah. probably as you know, working as kids when you guys were fourteen, fifteen, working it's a together. Lot so <laughs> yeah. probably will way harder. You know, you guys have been working together for a long time now. Yeah, no, it's been a almost while, ten like, years, right? Yeah, no, probably like ten years. Ten years working together. I'm sure That's you guys if it ups and downs. Yeah, we but, definitely have, but like in the long in the long run we both know like the the long like the goal so like whether we get in arguments or whether we're like just like not feeling it with each other that day we just we always like come back and like know what the final goal is for bots or like what the next step is that's so tight. we always know how to resolve it thankfully yeah. that's tight that's awesome yeah. how did you um get into music like um, how how did that happen so pretty much how i got into music was uh i was on electro elite you know like you guys added me to electro elite and mm-hmm. uh then we made Electrobots from that. Yeah. And then um, pretty much we needed mixes. So like Someone had I was to. on GarageBand. Like I was fucking making mixes. And I was like, okay, I started there. Export that shit when we danced to it. And then um, I, w- I kept doing that. Then I downloaded Logic. And um, when I downloaded Logic Pro, which is like a different software, uh-huh. that's when mixes started leveling up. Yeah, yeah I remember yeah. when... Um, Phoenix went to Hawaii for Christmas or whatever. That's yeah, he goes for like a month. Yeah, yeah, for his family. And um, that whole Christmas, we weren't doing anything. Like Dom was doing his own thing. Like Bots wasn't like doing anything. Yeah. That whole like December, I was grinding out on like how to make my mixes better. And that's when I started leveling up, like adding the sound effects, add- adding the robotic, like futuristic feel into yep. my music. Yeah, for sure. And I remember that that December because I remember I would show Phoenix like I would send Phoenix and mixes he's like holy shit you're on some like you're on some new shit right now and then we performed to it at um it was like World of Dance Awards 
2016 or something like that mm-hmm. and ever since then our mixes ha- my mixing has just been getting better and better, better, better. i always want to one-up myself like yeah this mix was cool but I, how can i one-up myself and so i just pretty much been wanting up my, one upping myself since then that's yeah. tight that's yeah. awesome what was the question I, how'd you get, get into, into it yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's cool how old, so how old were you when you started mixing, like mixing uh, yeah. like 15 like 15 that's tight yeah it's, it's cool we actually was thinking of throwing a workshop and you teaching kids how to basic mixing yeah stuff basic like that, messing so. with stuff I'm down. yeah which yeah, would be really super, cool. super helpful that's jenna's idea and you've had a you've had like quite a f- a lot of success on like TikTok with your music and stuff too, right? Yeah, that's yeah. been so cool. That's been like one of my favorite things to yeah. to see is like your your music like catching fire too. Yeah, super tight. What like what what do you think that formula is like? Why do you um, think that that works? And how many of those like little like things that you've made have blown up? Off. I know I've seen like a few, but mm, yeah. I, I have no idea because I'm not like super involved in TikTok. So um, it's funny because I started with like this one. It was like called Rockstar Shit and I remixed it. I was like, whatever, I'm going to do a dance to it. And that blew up because more popular creators would dance to it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, this is so sick. My remix is blowing up. Then I did like the WAP one. That yeah, one, yeah, yeah. That, one. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that was that um, was That one was tight. I did. I have, I have like probably like 10, 11 remixes on there that are like pretty good. Like a lot of views or a lot of plays. That's tight. But then I started to realize I was like, I stopped. I don't do that anymore. Because, really? No, because um, I make a mix and I, I dance not- to it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, I danced to it. Cool, and then all these like 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 all these popular creators like Blueprint, Slavic, Reno, like all these like way like like B Dash, all these like way uh more like with more millions following, of followers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they dance to my stuff and like respect to them. Like love those guys, but they get way more views and they get all like, the love, all the love, and like no one cares. No one's gonna click the music thing and be like, oh my god, Mac, like who's this guy who made the mix? Like the Dang. people on TikTok are kids. Yeah, they yeah, don't yeah, care yeah. about who made the mix. They care yeah. about freaking b-dash killing that shit off yeah, 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 yeah. They don't, so i was like okay i'm gonna stop this because it's not i mean it benefits me because i'm like being creative and yeah, like yeah doing yeah. that whole thing for tiktok yeah. but, but you're not gonna pour all you your time like into a, it yeah do you have yeah, like a that. what's that a tag it's like max made it like yeah, one of those things <laughs> yeah. what, what is it it's imax but it's a robot voice oh okay, oh, okay. that's right. cool that's that's right. Right. Up. <laughs> chris pull it up <laughs> oh, I yeah. Yeah. I tried. I tried. so i put <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work <laughs> so i put my tag and everything but it just like no one no one really cares so i just like i'm focusing my music on the colleges and my crew like, yeah and cool. like solo stuff because i mean i do like posting on tiktok and i do it every once in a while but that's not my main focus anymore got you got you got you yeah. got it that was tight. I just remember that. I think it was the WAP one that like someone yeah, sent me. They're like, the "Wait, I remember did too. your did your boy make this?" And I was like, "Oh, that's so tight. That was super tight." Yeah, no, that one blew up. It's cool to see everyone dance to it. Like, see their interpretation of it. But like, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say has like I know you you made a few. Have any of your like dance moments blew up? Blown up like with the mix, or yeah. did people always just take it their own direction? No, um, a couple of my mixes blew up. <laughs> Do WAP remix. You gotta do WAP remix. Oh uh, yeah, uh, actually the no. WAP one, the one the bots did, uh, that one blew up, and then my wow. my franchise. Uh, yeah, that's true. That one did. My franchise one blew up, and I did that right. Oh, yeah, did people did people one. mimic your stuff though? Some like, people mimic, but then someone uh, this girl created her own dance to it. But this girl, I have a okay. crush on her, so I was like, let's. Go oh really? <laughs> <laughs> that's Tessa tight. Brooks. You get you know Tessa Brooks. Oh yeah, Tessa Brooks. She did. She made a dance to it or something. She did. Yeah, Is there volume like franchise, and I was like, wow. Yeah, wait, what the hell? This is isn't that the guy who did the Drake Drake dance? I don't know. Type in Wap Remix Kiki, bots. Do you what? love me? Or is this guy? There's Wap no volume. Remix the volume bots. We're still figuring all this out, by the way. Oh, there it is. Listeners. So one, did you make that? Yeah. Yep. That, that cover too and everything. No way did someone just fucking rip that. <laughs> Wap bot. <laughs> We're finding out right now. Uh, no yeah, audio. this is it. How come there's no audio? I don't know. I don't know. Is that Tessa Brooks? Mm-mm. No, that looks like Olivia Rodrigo. Her name's Maybe Olivia. The TV. Maybe it's a TV. The actual TV needs to be turned on. I think it is. Right? Yeah, yeah. This is it's supposed to control the volume. Yeah, but this is my mix. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> is that Charlie D'Amelio? Who's that? This is Nola. Oh, I don't know. Oh, no, that's not Nola. My bad. Oh, I follow this girl. She's dope. Do you really? To the top, 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 drop. That's a wet, wet, wet. And a, and a mop. That's a yung. King. Yeah. That is your mix, yeah. That's how tight. So yeah, it's is, cool. I mean, I like seeing everyone dance to it. It's really like cool. Um, I just kind of was like, uh, is this benefiting me? Like, is my time and effort making TikTok mixes? Is that what I want to be doing? I was like, yeah, why not? TikTok is kind of dying right now, isn't it? 
It's hard. Is it's getting it? harder? It's getting harder to blow. Harder up. to it's blow. It's not up, dying, huh? but it definitely is a lot harder to blow. Up. Mm. Like, for sure. What is it? Real is the consistency. You thing? have to be consistent, it's and consistent. I don't know. The, post the, once a day, right? Yeah, post like people say like three times a day. I'm like, yeah. Bro, do you have a job or yeah. what? That's no. their job. Huh? Yeah. Say a lot of them don't. Straight up. So, um, yeah, TikTok is. I mean, it's still really good. Like people are blowing up every day, but. Yeah. Um, I know we could too as bots. It's just like we'd have to focus all of our attention on it. Yeah, that's all you. But right be able now to we do. have some other things. Where what are you guys trying to do? What's next? If you can uh, talk about it. You yeah, can't. I mean, I you can can't. talk. I can talk about it. Because if it falls through, then like whatever. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What What do you want to be next? I guess. Um. So pretty much, we we were about to do France Got Talent, and um, we have this concept called TV Heads. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if anyone's uh. If you it's super seen tight. It. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love that. Awesome. How heavy so, are those things? I feel like I asked someone light. else this. It's not bad. It's like a, not too bad. It's like a football helmet, but like uncomfortable football helmet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so if like, you haven't seen them, they make like literally like like yeah. TVs as like a helmet that goes and over then your does head. Does Phoenix edit and post like what's on it? Stuff on it does sometimes, but our our final goal is to get screens that that work. actually like work. And they, screens yeah, or and something. They interact with each other. Which That's tight. Yeah. We're not far from that at all. But That's tight. what we're doing is we're about to be on France Got Talent, and they wanted TV heads, and they wanted a routine. So we sent them a two minute like TV heads routine, and we filmed it in your guys' studio. Thank you. <laughs> um, and they um, pretty much just said, like, logistically, they they couldn't get us out there because of us being American. I don't know. Something mm. like that. Was it COVID or something? I, they didn't, they didn't go into detail. They just said, no, we don't want to roll with you guys. So hmm. we were like, Dang. we were like, fuck, because, like, headache came out to Arizona for those two for days. For those, yeah. Yeah, just to, to film like, it. So he spent money and, like, so it just sucks. Use that clip. Send it, send it to some other people. You've got the video yeah. now. So you know I what I mean? mean? Yeah, so this is what happened. Okay. So they said no. And I was like, you know, F it. I'm going to send this to Dave. Dave is the president of World of Dance. Yeah. I just sent it. I We transferred to Dave. I texted him. I was like, hey, there's a video in your email. Just check it out. Awesome. Time. He looked at it and instantly he like emailed me. He was like, hey, uh, can we set up a call with the guys as soon as possible? And I was like, yes. So we like set up a call. And then I guess the next day he called Omar. Um, Omar is like our friend slash like he yeah, he's manage. been on the pod. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Five, Omar. Cool. So yeah, we uh, Dave called Omar and pretty much told Dave about a Knott's Berry Farm gig, which is a sh- like a not. It's called not scary, scary farm. farm. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. It's the horror. Yeah, uh, horror section. nights. Whatever. Yeah, horror nights. Um, the one in Cali. Yeah, in Cali. Okay. Yeah, LA. Yeah. They don't have any other Knott's Berry Farm, is there? Is oh, it no. just California? Yeah, there's a Knott's Berry Farm, and then there's Six Flags, and oh, okay. that's but they're all. It's all yeah. Six Flags, isn't it? Is yeah, it, uh, I, don't know. Mountain or something? I have no idea. I don't even know. All right, but well, then anyway, what? so yeah, Knott's Berry, we have this potential Knott's Berry farm gig where we perform for like 30 days straight all through the like Halloween yep. uh, season. Mm-hmm. They're so tight during Halloween, too. Yeah. They like yeah, go all cool. out. Like they the, go the all roller out. The blades with the pretty cool oh, slashes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's so tight. nasty. Yeah, so we got offered that gig because um, Dave saw that TV has video and he was like, wait a second, because he was about to, I shouldn't be saying this, but. <laughs> he was about to I, get I'll, somebody else? Nah, yeah, he was, he was thinking about other people. Then he, I sent him that video and he was like, oh, wait. This is, this is it. He was like, wait. And he, it's already done. Yeah, yeah, He rechanged his thought and. Um, he was Dang, he, see, everything happens for a reason. So no, hopefully it just up. goes, hopefully it happens. Yeah, I mean, it's it's most likely going to happen. It's like 90% going to happen. Um, cool. Pretty much the delay is that Knott's Berry Farm has a theme. And TV heads doesn't necessarily fit that theme, uh, but we told them I was like, "Oh, we're gonna make you can it, adapt it yeah, however can, you want. Exactly, hey, we're gonna yeah, adapt yeah. it to that theme." So yeah, that came. Do up. you know what the theme is? Yeah. What is it's the a theme? Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead. Oh, okay. oh, cool. Like the Latin. Yeah, yeah. So that's what it is, and like a coco. Yeah, literally yeah, like yeah. coco. So that's um, that. So yeah, we're like this is like most likely gonna happen. If it doesn't happen. You guys, whatever. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, we're super excited. Like, I'm I'm about to go to Hawaii in the next couple of days to start rehearsing. Dope, nice. And um, we pretty much have in September 27th is the first show, so we have like two dance months. kind of soon. Get it together. Soon. And what is that? I'm what does have. that look like? Like your show there? What's how the show? long is it? Okay, like, so it's how many times minutes, a day? Right? Yeah, it's two 10 minute shows. Okay. One is um, we're doing like a. A dead mariachi band theme, so like animatronic type. Tight, dead tight. Yeah, yeah. Same. Like on a stage or yeah. like, oh, okay, cool. On a stage, and then um, the next one, the other ten minute shows a TV head show. Cool. Um, and we do like four shows a day, which it's a lot. That is a lot for three guys. Just the three lot. of you. But yeah, it's it's gonna be a lot. You of should work. hire people with TV heads who could take. That's what I mean. If you got the TV heads, you give can, them a little less right? percentage. So that higher dancers. Smart. <laughs> That is our goal. Yeah, yeah, eventually. Yeah, yeah. For yeah, sure. Yeah. But 
we don't want to. For now, you've got to protect the. Yeah, yeah and right you got to protect, take it. To protect right the, now, protect the brand too. For now, yeah. too, while but, you're building um, it. Yeah, so it's gonna be a lot of work, but we're like we've already talked about like conditioning every day and like mm-hmm. pretty much it's like HHI. Like you gotta get conditioned. You have yeah. to like, eat healthy. You have to like cut yeah. out drinking. You know, just gotta do what you gotta do to yeah. you know, to be ready for four shows a day. Yeah. yeah. So this may happen if it doesn't. Oh well, but like it'd be awesome if it does. Yeah. So that's yeah, I think part of the dance world is get, it's not getting attached to certain yeah. ideas, shows, ideas, concept ideas, shows. Yeah, cause everything always last minute. Like we were supposed to go to China. For we were getting ready for China, and they're like, they never booked our flights. And I was just like, okay, I guess <laughs> we're not going so to China. It was so annoying. I remember, so like, weird. our manager was so mad that we kept like asking about it too. But we were literally supposed to leave in like two days, and we're like, he's like, oh yeah, it's canceled. Bro, like, let us let us know like where are we at. And we got to the day that our flight was supposed to take off, and mm-hmm. we're like, dude, we don't have the information. We're supposed yeah, to leave yeah. today. He's like, oh, I was talking about next month. And then when we got to next month, it was canceled. Yeah, it was so many shows. What's another show that f- that fell through? Lot. Oh, we're supposed to be on Steve Harvey. <laughs> we the were? Steve Harvey show, yeah, that fell through. I mean, yeah. I was excited for that one. That would have been cool. Yeah. But yeah, it's, you know, hopefully so it goes things. through. But if not, there'll be other opportunities. I yeah, think I'm consistency sure is key. Like if you just keep doing what you're doing, yeah. eventually something. It's yeah. not that people. It's not that people like. I think people just give up maybe too soon. Hundred percent. No. If you just start and keep going, um, you'll get something. Yeah, I mean, we. Um, this landing this knots gig like i'm just like manifesting that's gonna happen yeah Mm -hmm. um pretty much solidified never to give up because like i mean bots has been through like kind of a lot these past like two years with like losing dom yeah one of our members dom and then like adding headache and he's in hawaii he's not dead he just decided (laughs) yeah sorry leave of absence or what what is he doing he uh yeah he takes some time took a different took a different route yeah with uh his life but it's all good like we're still friends with him and stuff but yeah, I mean it's hard because like everyone we've been doing the three original for like eight years. Yeah. And yeah. So when you lose someone and add someone new, it's like the dynamic different. is different. And that's what we yeah. talked with Phoenix about. I was like, how's that dynamic? Is it different? He's like, Oh, you guys were all friends before, so it wasn't yeah. as bad. And like when you bring someone new in, it's always like so weird. Like, yeah. It is. Like when we brought someone new in for the OG electrolytes, it was weird because we didn't know if we were going to mesh well with these new people yeah. or, you know, like we don't know people's personalities. So yeah. it's like when you're, yeah. and then hanging out with them and working with them are two Very different, different things, things sometimes. Yeah. So that's always risky, you know? Yeah. 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 Me and Phoenix like work so well together. So like with Dom, he kind of like would just come in and like learn our stuff. Yeah. And then with headache, I mean, we, we've been friends with headache for a while. He was on outlaws and stuff. And, yeah. uh, he had to learn kind of like really quickly how like, you guys we do work things because yeah. me and Phoenix don't realize we've been doing it for so long. We're just flowing, huh? We don't, yeah, we just flow. We don't realize that we're going too fast or not explaining things. We just go. But Headache is like the coolest, most down to earth guy. He'll do anything for us. Like he yeah. tells us, he'll text us like almost every day. Like I fucking love you guys. Like I'm, I'm ride or die forever. Like we got this shit. Like he's so motivating and like that's tight. That's, probably brought you guys a new spark too. Yeah, like, no, to work a hundred percent. Like me and Phoenix were like. What the hell do we do? Because we knew Dom was on his way out for a, for a long time. Yeah, yeah, I remember. So me and Phoenix like we're gonna ride this out as long as he wants to, and then he like quit, and we we're just like, "Fuck! Like, what do we do? Like, cause like two me and Phoenix alone, that, that's not bots. Yeah, yeah. bots yeah. is a three man like spectacle. Yeah. So we had a he- we were thinking about who we could add, and we had a list of people, mm-hmm. and then um, a list of like LA dancers who were like kind of like very well known. Yeah. And then I remember my friend Pazuki, Jarrett, he's like one of yeah, my yeah, friends. Yeah. We were all in the car, like drinking on our way to party. And he was like, why don't you just add a headache? And we we're like, we like looked at each other. We're like, yep, that's it. Like we were like, that was, it was done to like yeah, headache yeah. because it just like fits so well. He does our style perfectly. Dude, that yeah, video he when he had, did he have green hair in the video? The first video you guys dropped with headache was, it was like my favorite. Red, it was so tight. Yeah. yeah. With his jackets. That was yeah. my, such a nasty oh, video. Oh, the, the jackets. Yeah. So good. Thanks, man. Yeah, no, yeah, he's so he's the perfect asset. I wouldn't I wouldn't and want anyone so else. Good. He's because so good. Talent. He's like good. He's dancer. super talented. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's super talented. Yeah, and uh, because like we went on AGT and got fucking roasted. Mm-hmm. And um, I w- I wish you could pull that clip up because it's funny as fuck. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> we gotta get yeah, some. We gotta figure yeah, it out. Yeah, we're gonna uh, figure it out. We'll figure it out. Um, we got roasted, and that was Headache's first month or two months with bots. Yeah. yeah. And if we added any other LA guy, they would quit. Yeah, oh, for oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Headache that been was out. like. Then the day, the next day, he was like, "All right, what's next?" Like he's like so, he's so about it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> kind of boom. Kind of boom. But yes, 
Oh, it works. Oh, hey, and volume Ooh, works. Ooh, got nasty. Oh. This is what I'm talking about. This is the piece, too. They're they so tired. Yeah, they, they want, want everything. They want the next year. They're so tired. Costume's a huge thing, too. Costumes Co- are big costumes. for HHI. They're like the same person, though, dog. Oh, my God. They look so good. They're so clean. And it's just good popping. Oh, yeah, good popping. It's still good. This is old, too. It's not It's not outdated. I know. Well, because it's all the, like, styles. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. Also, if you've never been to HHI, seeing this stuff live is so much yeah, different than crazy. watching it on a screen. Can you pull up the AGT one? Yeah, yeah honestly, the AGT. I haven't heard... You haven't seen it? I got a... I think I got a phone call from somebody. They're like, they bro, so they just got like eaten alive on yeah. AGT. But I, I never saw it. I have no idea what they said. Commercial. Yeah, the AGT Ted thing. Lasso, like, man. We were show. like. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here oh, we go. here we go. So I love Sophia, too, from fam- a Modern Family. So yeah, yeah, she's tight. So first off, they only show the worst parts. Just oh, of course. <laughs> was it hard to see out of those glasses? Yeah, was it hard to see? No, no. We're used to like shit on our eyes. Is that the same board you had? Like, oh yeah, we fucked up studio? bad there. It was like, <laughs> yeah, the, the confetti fucked up. Who gave me the bad. X? Uh, Simon. Simon? Yeah. Seem like a high school talent show. Oh man. Oh, come on. I think it's great, you know, that you guys are doing this as a hobby. I mean, you guys are not professional. Doing, doing this as a hobby. This. She's the worst. You do? I mean, we are professional. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's your boy. Oh. I was blown away, sorry. Howie? No. I'm, I'm going to have to say. Oh, <laughs> uh, this funny. is so sad. Damn. I thought they are not professional. Oh my god. How do you suck it? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, they kind of set you guys up, though, because you guys wanted to do a different piece, right? Yeah, we wanted Producers to. tell you to do this piece instead, and then you go get roasted for a piece that you never Dude, wanted bro, to do in the, the first place. Worst, That's too. messed up. The first time mm-hmm. I ever realized, like, what that whole like world, world was oh, like do you remember when we AGT did it was the oh worst. dude it was the saddest horrible. thing ever like backstage they were like hyping this guy up like telling him how awesome of a singer he was mm-hmm. like and he's like telling a story backstage about how like this like ruined his relationship with his daughter because his daughter said he couldn't sing and was gonna be embarrassed if he did the show like mm-hmm. went on like how his whole life is like ruined his, because his, he decided to do a, this and then he they sent him out my on daughter stage, said like, that go, she's go, go. she's embarrassed they're she's, making, they're, yeah. you guys are making fun of me yeah my daughter told me that this is you you guys are that I'm just a joke to you. I'm here to prove yeah. her wrong. And blah, he, blah, this blah. is before he went out and performed. Then yeah. they sent him out like, "Oh, you're the best!" Like sent him out on stage, and then they just tore and he was him a apart. horrible singer. Yeah, they X'd they just, him in like was, the first like five seconds. He was a joke, and, like, obviously. Tore, yeah, he, they were literally setting up. Uh, anyways, yeah. It's At that up. point, that's when I was yeah. like, "Oh wow, they're just like." They can spin th- stuff and just like make, they're just trying to make TV. You know they what I mean? They're really trying want. to make it interesting. Yeah, they just they just want to make good TV for your your grandparents at home. They, exactly. Like, they do not care about feelings i mean or anything yeah not really i'm sure there's some good people attached to those shows but but you know what i mean for the most part they're just trying to make uh, we made it at that they're like oh you made it and then they brought us backstage like "Eh, that doesn't mean you actually made it yeah we got the call like two months later like no we don't want you yeah um so what did you really want to tell her you could tell her right now Heidi? Yeah, because like Heidi? at the time when you're on stage you're and so the, a judge oh, is talking, know, yeah. like, you, don't, you, you don't know what. Was to the say. crowd wild too? Was the crowd super loud? They, no, they loved us. Yeah, they I was gonna us. say the crowds they go were crazy. Booing the judges. So what I wanted to Dang. say, so you didn't, they don't show it in that, but um, what was it? Uh, one of the little girls, uh, I think Heidi was like, um, so is that duct tape on your your jackets? Is that duct tape? And all of us were kind of like looking around like nervous because like, it was duct tape. Like we, we, <laughs> They made us change our shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Dub, so we were like fucking struggling trying to make a cool outfit. It looked cool. You can't Yeah, you can't yeah, tell. No, it looks I great. Yeah. But they're like, is that duct tape? And then they were like all roasting our outfits. And, <laughs> Jeez. and me and Phoenix look at each other. We're like, what is this? It's a super, or we were like, what do we say? It's a secret because we were just fucking nervous. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what I wanted to say was like, honestly, yeah, it is duct tape. We don't have the money. We don't have the funds to like, yeah to like you know have a good outfit we just we, yeah. we tried our best i wanted to make them feel bad but like, yeah yeah <laughs> after i mean after we, it's, you can't do anything you know? yeah, no, no, yeah. Like afterwards like i should have said this i should have said that i should have said this yeah. 
It's all good. Though. I'm done with TV shows unless it's like you know something really, really worth. Our it. focus yeah. around you know the art, focus around you guys. Yeah, 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 it's it's not worth it's it's not worth the time. Like and the exposure, yeah. what is it? Like it's not that great. Yeah, it could yeah. be great if you make it far, but like yeah, yeah. But um, you also have to there's no put in the work afterwards shows. and capitalize on it. Yeah. Afterwards I have a too. dance show that I want to write a pilot. F- I want to write a pilot for Netflix or Hulu, but I'm not. I can't say it here because someone's reality gonna dance steal show? it. It's a reality dance show. It's a, it's a lot. It's a lot of things. It's really cool, <laughs> but yeah, I'm not gonna steal it because someone's gonna steal it. I could yeah, guarantee yeah, you, you someone's gonna steal it. Don't do that. Write it. Yeah, we well, gotta write the pilot. I'm down. Yeah, let's do it. It's gonna be set. No, we, gonna I don't. Like dance, Dancers Revenge. <laughs> no, nah, yeah, no, it's gonna be. Our Halloween awesome. movies. Yeah. Oh yeah, best. we're gonna make another one this year. Yeah, we do. We need to go all out. Cool. So. By the way, if people haven't noticed, this trophy wiggles and moves. It's so clunky and big. It is. It's. They had the other cool thing's name on there. I'm kidding. No, I messed <laughs> up. Eight flavors was printed on it. <laughs> to get the new plaque do i remember when you guys won that like you guys didn't really know me but like, i was like a fan i knew you like like kind of um yeah, yeah. no i knew you I oh knew you knew me yeah, I, knew. <laughs> no, I was like i was definitely a fan and i just joined your studio like i mm-hmm. just joined it and i remember i would text sal like i would text him like what happened like because you you know you, you yeah yeah before, yeah right? it shows. yeah 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 i would text him what happened what happened he would tell me all the details like, yeah this <laughs> happened and we did this and Chris you know you her. sent you sent my brother a video of you dancing freestyling Really? While we were on the show and we all watched it. What the fuck? Why? Why did I do that? Because you're like, hey, can you critique me? <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then we're like, yeah, sure. And then a child pulled it up and I was like, oh, it's actually, it's, you're actually real good. Super like, tight. Obviously, yeah, yeah, you yeah. weren't as good as you are now, obviously, but mm-hmm. you had musicality, you had yeah. like, you had textures, you had like, you could tell, you know, when you see some young kid, you're like, oh, yeah, that kid's going to be tight. Be tight. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we, we saw that. We were like, dude, what the? Didn't you have like some of our pieces memorized too? Yeah. I, no, I mean, that. I. So with Max, he showed up to the studio with an Electrolytes fan made shirt before <laughs> so we were tight. on the show, before yeah. we made ABDC. That's so tight. Yeah, I have a. I'm going to say one thing that I know about like being good at something is like, honestly, the nerds and the people that are obsessed and like mm-hmm. so dedicated, they end up being like very good. Because yeah. I was like, like, no joke, I was like such a nerd and like so obsessed with like you guys and dance crews and like yeah i would mm-hmm. do whatever it takes to like dance like you guys and be like you and yeah i was like i want to be on their crew that's okay. I was like, i'll do whatever it takes to be on your crew yeah <laughs> is this a throwback I mean, now <laughs> dang throwback is this, this the first the bots is this the first one yeah, first bots video i remember the this OG studio i was like these guys are gonna be so tired right how old are you right here uh, like 16 Dang. Dang, look at that studio. I can always tell by my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> the era? Yeah, how old I was. Hey! Who videoed this? Dom. Who, it was Dom? Dom before he was before on Vibes. Before he was on wow. Vibes. Wow. That's right. I remember he was into video stuff, too. Did you guys choreograph this? Yeah. Dude, that, hey. that moment right there, still. Yeah, this camera movement, we, <laughs> would, never do, we would never do it today, but back then I guess it was cool, I don't know. It was, it was super tight. Face was on point. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <Fine>. Wild. <laughs> still pretty good. Yeah, not bad. I still use a lot of those moments today. <laughs> they still work. Right, turn this off. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember, Dang, like, that's wild. yeah, it's crazy. But yeah, you were obsessed. You were always there. You always, you know, a good dedicated. student, and dedicated. Yeah. And it is. It's the people who are obsessed. The people that are weird. I remember uh, when I was in college. I probably told this in the story, but I was obsessed with the electro brand, like mm-hmm. the E. That I was, and you know, I was, you know, always loved dancing, obviously, but I was more obsessed with how do I get this E to fucking explode, right? Yeah. yeah. I remember I was sitting in college, and we were the freshman. I was. 18 years old and I was sitting around these group of girls basically and they were in my math group and I was yeah, they were doing group. yeah we had a, it was like a math group and we were set up in math groups Weird. and we were you know it was one group and I was just drawing the E I was trying to draw different ways how to make the E like look cool and I was mm. doing different shit drawing it on a piece of paper and they were la- they laughed in my face yeah. they're like what are you drawing I was like oh it's electro it's my dance crew like I'm trying to blah 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 and they're like 
yeah. giggled and beatboxed me. Like, yeah. <laughs> this dance crew. And I was so, like, hurt. I remember, like, fuck these bitches. I'm going to get, I'm going to prove them wrong, yeah, right? Yeah. And, like, years later, so I was, like, always, like, I was always obsessed with drawing that shit, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, so finding something to be obsessed about. Yeah. Finding something that. Something good. Something good. Yeah, and yeah, be something and good. be nerdy about it. Yeah. Like, be, be, who gives a fuck, right? Yeah, go all in on it. Yeah. Um, one That's thing I will say that I did that was probably the craziest thing I ever did when it comes to being nerdy was a, uh, I had like a camcorder mm-hmm. and uh, all of the America's Best Dance Crew sh- uh, seasons, I set up like, I stacked a bunch of books and like a table and like, I, and I put my camcorder up top and so I could... filmed all of the seasons on my computer because like the only way you can get MTV, the MTV website. Podcast, our students <laughs> just got out of class. Has to be Trayvon. <laughs> Trayvon for sure. God damn it, Trayvon. <laughs> But yeah, I would stack. I put my camcorder up top, and I filmed Film every all of single it? episode from season one to Bro, season. Bro, exactly. Whatever. Yeah, season. And I kept all those, and I had them on my computer, and I'd be watching them. Like, Bro, study. me too. We would. That's so tight. Me and my brother, we would watch, obsess over every crew we knew yeah. exact, and we would write down the objections of the judges. We would write down what the judges thought. We'd mm-hmm. write down like what things they hated, things they loved, things yeah. things that, you know one mm-hmm. and we were just right we would write them down and we would just re-watch them over and over again with me my brother my mom actually all three of us would just love that show yeah that's so tight and obsess over it man it's crazy yeah. um remember rhythm city should have won season four oh. no offense to we are heroes oh, a thousand percent yeah yeah rhythm City's so tight. sorry uh well. no i uh speaking of like obsessive do you remember we had a moment while we were on abdc um, where like the nerd came out of two different people on the show. Uh, Chris Thomas is like a massive NSYNC fan. Mm-hmm. Like memorized, he knows all their choreography from all their videos. Like yeah. like super obsessive over it. And uh, some song came on backstage before we went out on stage. Some NSYNC song, and Chris started like doing some of the choreo. And uh, who was it? JC Suze? Uh No, no, no. It was um, Puspos. Puspos. Brian Puspos. Puspos yeah. like came in and he's like he's like bro. He's like, how do you know that? And Chris is like, oh, dude, I'm a massive NSYNC fan. And they like <laughs> busted into the dance and like they were going off because apparently the dance wasn't in the video. It was only a tour dance. Wow. So like Brian, I think, I think it was Brian. I don't want to like mess this up, but I'm pretty sure he's like, dude, he's like, I made my parents like drive me around. Like I went to like four or five of their shows just so I could like memorize these dances. Damn, Cause it was a cool. tour only dance. It wasn't like a video dance. But and anyways, those guys are both so good. Oh yeah. They're super tired. Yeah. They do. It's, it's, it's so funny, dude. It's so funny. That's hilarious. Um, I have a question for you guys. <laughs> yeah. What? Um, on the show, like, did you guys deal with like anxiety or anything? Oh my like that? god, anxiety. Not, yeah. Not like. Well, uh, I didn't even know what anxiety was back then. Day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 I did. I did. Not definitely. like a uh, anxiety where like you're about to perform and like you like feel nervous for like any pressure on anxiety. Crew, anyone on the crew and like feel like very intense anxiety where it was like almost unbearable. Uh, I remember. The week we were in the bottom, and the week we, the top three was most when we were most wanted, mm-hmm. and then the one not winning because I kind of knew we were gonna win once we got to the top two, because mm. like I said, I studied the show, yeah. so everyone who was in the t- bottom two before the finale always yeah. won. Always won yeah. So I said, so when we hit fucking, bottom two and made it out of that, we're like. Last week, so was we're easy. gonna win, but yeah, anxiety like crazy, dude. And I didn't know what anxiety was back then. I was twenty one, and you know, it wasn't yeah. like that much of a thing it wasn't even yeah it wasn't like a it was thing. just like not like stressed. it is now like mm-hmm. now i think people like are easier to diagnose and like people know what anxiety it was is. just so much back pressure then it was and it's stress yeah. we were like no joke we would bust out into tears as a crew like mm. once a week once or twice a week we would bust into tears because we were Easily. just so stressed and frustrated and tired and yeah yeah like we just wanted to win so bad but we would like we would literally cry like twice twice a week yeah, easily. We were always crying and always working. We were yeah. like the ones that were always in rehearsal that season. Season, season eight was it. a different. different <laughs> yeah, season story. eight was a different. Story. Season eight, we were there just for a good time. <laughs> what the fuck is that, <laughs> Chris? <laughs> this is him trying to keep up with the conversation. <laughs> you're, you're like on. You're on it, but not. You're almost there. No, but yeah, we would cry all the time, and we would like be stressed out. Be we would argue a lot, but we, it was always like. Focus on the bigger picture and stuff. But yeah, I mean, season, season eight. I mean, I think there's a couple moments that anxiety came into, like high anxiety came into play. Oh, we Honestly, punched I the think, wall. Remember when we got oh, kicked yeah. off the stage? Like, Get the fuck off the stage. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we were practicing and we were like so fresh, so frustrated because all of our... So basically you film, you you have to have your... You get your mix Sunday. You have yep. to 
perform for the judges or for the camera and, on, and the producers on Tuesday. So you yeah. get two days to two make days a whole routine. Yeah. But Tuesday came, we didn't have anything. Damn. So we yeah. were like so fresh. We were running out of stuff to do, ideas. We were so stressed out. Season and eight? Season, season seven. seven. Oh, season so this is like top three, right? I when think made so. It, to top three of them. it was oh, the most yeah, crucial that was moment. Rough. That was rough. So, and we had, what a week? No, no. It, was, it was way. It was most that one wanted. came way too easy. Really? We finished that routine in like thirty minutes, and I was like, "No joke, are we sure minutes. we're done with this?" And they're like, <laughs> "They're like, no, trust us, we're the martial artists." And I was like, "All right, dog." No, yes, that one was way. They too did easy. us dirty with the outfits so that on that says one something, too, though. though. That says something. We finished. Yeah, that routine we finished in that one minutes, way like too an hour. quick. And yeah, so and that's why it's probably why we got bottom. But anyways, yeah. so. They get you get the mix Sunday. You have to have a piece by have Tuesday. Have it done by Tuesday, and we perform in front of the producers and camera guys to get it approved. Mm. We did it. We did like half of what we had. It was horrible. Producer says trash. Start done. over. Start do over, it again. Yeah. And it has to be done by Wednesday. Tomorrow. Yeah. Camera block is Wednesday. So you so Tuesday they said start over trash. So we had to had a whole another or oh, just one day to get it done. But the producer says trash. Get off the stage. They're like get off the stage. Get they're yelling at us. No. Yeah. And we could tell, we get up, like we get off stage, and we're all pissed. And I individually started crying. And I'm just like so frustrated. I'm pissed off. I'm so sad. I started crying. I'm pissed off. I'm cr- like kneeling down. Mm. And I thought I was the only one. I look up, and every single every <laughs> yeah. single one of us was crying and pissed off Damn. and frustrated. And I see Chris Thomas just punch the wall. <gasps> Boom, Damn. punch the brick wall. I feel like he 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 struggled with anxiety a lot. Oh, he I for think. sure did. Oh, there's that cup of water. Yeah, they did us dirty. <laughs> I remember we weren't supposed to wear those tank tops. Those were like a placeholder is what they told us. Oh my God. And then it was like time to go on stage. And I was like, where's wait, are shirts? we going? Yeah, where's our shirts? They're like, ah, just go out in that. We're like, what? Look at fucking Joey and, and our pants. I know, that, was, that was not a good look. Those ben, horrible. I'd be Ben. I'd be like those Joey. pants were popular back in the day. Those, those, uh, yeah, those big gussets. Yeah, the MC Hammer pants. Yeah, it was not Jeez, a good look. But Chris horrible. had a few moments where he lost it, where he saw red and like the anxiety yeah. got to him. I think honestly it probably played into him being out the first couple weeks yeah. with his injury i know he was hurt like for real mm-hmm. but i also think anxiety but season eight like that's that's what happened with joey i think too like that yeah. was that was a moment of just i think super high anxiety mm-hmm. and sickness and a bunch of things kind of wrapped up into one yeah. that was the episode that we literally so maybe we did have a couple of panic attacks couple, but yeah a couple moments you like know pressure that. makes diamonds yeah, yeah, yeah as well yeah. so it helped us out a lot yeah it did yeah i feel that do you what have about, a lot of yeah, what about you? Do you? Have you guys struggled with that? Um, you had any of those moments? We of course struggle with anxiety, like as a crew and whatever. But um, I fucking struggle very bad. Like, yeah, I have. It all happened like I'm not gonna like get into details, but like pretty much randomly in 2019, the day after my birthday, like I had my first panic attack, mm. and I was just yeah. driving to my dad's house, and I had a panic attack. I pulled over, and I was like what's going on? And I was like calling people. I was like, yo, help. And, like I was freaking out. I didn't know what a panic attack was. Damn. And then pretty much one thing led to another. I was having panic attacks over, over every day, every day. I got, Jeez. I couldn't drive anywhere. I couldn't drive. I had to be with the girl I was with at the time. I was like, you can't leave me. I was having so much anxiety and, um, yeah, it was, it was awful. And I mean, I still deal with it today. Like it, once you like get anxiety, did you figure out what the root of the anxiety or where it was coming yeah, how from? Do you, how do you um, control it better now too? The root of how I got anxiety, I'm pretty sure I was living a fast paced life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was like dance, um, go, go, go. like partying, uh, just like everything. Like I was constantly grump working, constantly working, working long hours with the crew, with whatever I was doing. I had a job back then and just like, I didn't know, like I, I didn't really care for mental health or physical mm. health. I was like, go, I was like I'm a, go, I'm go. a rock. Yeah. No, nothing can stop yeah, me. Yeah. That's how I felt. Cause that's what was happening is when we were like winning hhi doing all this stuff mm-hmm. i was like dude I'm, I'm like i'm chilling yeah yeah yeah. and then i realized real quick that you nope. got to take care of your mental health and yeah. um what was your question how do i deal yeah with how it? do you deal with it now um i mean as time goes on you kind of get better with like it doesn't the anxiety doesn't go away you just get better with dealing with it yeah the way i deal with it is um i i meditate a lot that's um, nice. Dope. i also i have to take medication because uh the crazy thing is like this is something I don't tell many people, like some of my friends know, but like, so like there's things called SSRIs, which is anti-anxiety medicine, Mm -hmm. like antidepressants. Yeah. Yeah. And they give that to you if you have really bad panic attacks. So I was put on a SSRI when I was having really bad panic attacks because I was like, I I need to go to, like I had nothing to do. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I got put on an SSRI and like it helped with the anxiety, 
But then a month down the road, it started to give me um, movement disorders. Mm. Like I, I started to develop a movement disorder and I was like, what the fuck is this? Like I'm a dancer. I can't have a movement disorder. Yeah. So I went to the doctor and I got off the SSRI and um, my anxiety came back, but the movement disorder didn't go away. It oh stayed. my gosh. And I was what like, does that, that mean? Like? What yeah. does that what mean? Is, what does that look like? What um, happens to you? So this happened like two, almost three years ago. I got this, I developed this movement disorder. It started in my eyebrow and um, it started in my eyebrow and now it is every single part of my it's it's attacked every single part of my body you guys probably don't notice that much but like it's everywhere at all times i'm like flexing twisting like moving my toes like flexing my abs <laughs> and it's it's like a twitch in your muscles it's, it's uh well the doctors say it's uh i developed motor tics all hmm. from this ssri that was on for one month Jeez, it's such bullshit yeah like if uh it's such bullshit but yeah i pretty much developed um motor tics that's what they say it is but i I'm like, bro, this is this is like way crazier than just motor tics. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. it's literally the worst thing ever, um, as a dancer and just as a fucking person. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Just it's a- it's awful, but like, mm-hmm. I kind of just um deal with it. Like, I have to take it's like some medication for it, and uh, I just kind of like push through because my thing is like. At least I'm not like in a wheelchair paralyzed. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah, still move. You can still do. I can still yeah, dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Find yeah. things to be yeah, grateful and a lot for. Of people and you still dancing still looks good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah so a lot you of people do, don't, don't even it. notice it. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I mean, I no one notices it unless I say something. Yeah, and yeah, like, that's so crazy. Like, so I was yeah, like, that's horrible. There was like I was looking at because I had a few panic attacks. I had a panic attack in 2017, then I had a panic attack in 2018. Mm-hmm. And I remember those two panic attacks, and it was the weirdest, craziest thing. I couldn't breathe, crying mm-hmm. heavily. Like, I was just, <gasps> yeah. and Jenna was like, you're having a panic attack. I was like, what the hell? Yeah. And so I had to, like, I had to really figure it out. And I could feel, like, the anxiety when I'm coming back. But what really helps me is, like, exerting my energy mm. to the point where I can't, like, breathe. Yeah. So I need to do those. I need to have those workouts or those dance rehearsals at least twice a week mm-hmm. really just helps me like levels me out like exerting where i'm just like <sighs> like i just yeah. can't breathe or feel like to the point where like yeah so that, that helps me mm-hmm. that's tight yeah it's like choosing it's like a, i heard a thing too it's like choosing my difficulty yeah if i don't choose my difficulty It'll, difficulty yeah. is going to choose, choose me yeah. yep. so i choose things that are difficult on purpose so to to help me out yeah um, so that's just kind of what helped me as well too. That's tight. I've never had a panic attack. I did have a quarter life crisis. Well, at least yeah. I hope it's quarter life, not midlife. <laughs> otherwise, oh, yeah, I don't know how much time. I did. I had a quarter life crisis. Yeah. I tried to learn how to longboard like what? the whole thing. Yeah, it is. It was a work? weird. I went through a weird, what? weird phase where I was like, how old were you? Am I getting too old? Uh, I think I was like 26, 27 mm-hmm. where I was like, bro, in what a couple of gonna... years, like if I, if I try to learn how to longboard, I'm gonna like break something or hurt something. So uh, yeah, it was yeah. it was weird. Quarter but it brought crisis. me back to brought me back to the studio. studio. Yeah, good. brought me back that into the space. That was your quarter life crisis. Well. That was the year that you were like, you should do HHI, and I was I hadn't danced in a while, mm-hmm. I hadn't competed in I a while. I stayed recruiting people. I know, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, are you sure? I was like, uh, do I need to audition? Like, I and he's like, no, just come, just do it. And I, I, I was, it was tough. That was a tough year. Yeah, 2018. Tough, tough 2018. My first rehearsal was like. It's intense, yeah, yeah so, it was so intense. intense. The ceiling was crying because we were sweating so much. Oh yeah, it's yeah. nasty. Yeah, Dang, crazy. that's wild though. But yeah, that's crazy, man. It's, that sucks that you did deal with that now. Hopefully, yeah, it goes it's, away. It's never gonna go away. Um, so, I mean, I've been to like twenty different. Dude, this is like my life. Like, yeah, I dance, and the other half of me is studying and like researching about like mental health and like mm. all the problems I deal with, like the movement disorders. Like, I'm like, yeah. I swear to God, I can be a doctor at some point. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But um, no. So it, some doctors say it could go away. Some say it won't ever go away. Um, every doctor has a different opinion. That's why I'm like, so isn't that so strange? So angry Dude, the older I get, the more I realize doctors are are the exact same thing that I am. Yes. Like you know what I mean? I think species. like when I'm when I'm younger, like I. I feel like when you hear a doctor say something, it's like that's it is the that's, it's that's true. The like way. it's going to be. But then, like the older I get, I'm like, wait a second, like I'm older than you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Like sometimes not, they can not limit that, their be- limit your beliefs. Yeah, they yeah. can. Sometimes they think within a. Bo- Anyways, it's it's so weird how every I doctor was, uh, have a completely was, different perspective on. I things. was blind as a kid. Oh yeah. I got blind, poison, ammonia got spread into my eye on accident. So mm-hmm. when I went to the doctor, the doctor told my mom like he's never gonna, never gonna be able to see again. again. Yeah. So and I heard that as a little kid, I was like, "Fuck, I'm done. I can't see anymore." But you know, six months later, thank God, I was I'm able to see, obviously. But, mm-hmm. 
But if I would have just believed in that doctor, my I could have, you know. Never again. Yeah. Yeah. There, Every there's, doctor is gonna tell you something different. Yeah, it's weird. There's a doctor that um. Um, and there's, I go to a couple doctors that are amazing. Shout out you guys. I like, fucking love you guys. But uh, there was a doctor that I was like, I was explaining to him my like condition and my symptoms. And then I was like, he like went to his computer and I saw he was like just Google searching <laughs> motor tics. And he was just like reading off. He's like, oh yeah, this app. I was like, dude, I do. The I could have done that. <laughs> I, what are you, you're telling me that like, I can Google search. like That is crazy. I was like, bro, what do you like? And then I never go to that guy again. And then when another doctor told me. He's I like, had, oh, yeah, just use this medicine. So I get, get you to pay for something. No, yeah. like straight up. And yeah. like another doctor told me, he was like, yeah, it'll never go away. And so like for like months, I was like depressed. I was like, dude, like what the, like this doctor told me it'll never go away. Like, and that just rent, that goes in your head yeah, over yeah. and over. And like. Yeah, so this has been a, like a three-year long journey, damn. journey, and it's like hard because being a dancer, like you need your muscles to move properly. So what's helping you like have a positive outlook on it, or getting you through some, getting through your um, day? Um, I just one thing that I think about is like I, I told you guys earlier is that like it could be worse, like mm-hmm. you know I could be like paralyzed or being something. Being grateful. Yeah, being grateful like that I can still move, and I, I always tell myself that. I'm not going to stop until I physically cannot do anymore. Like right mm-hmm. now I can still dance. Yeah. I can still kill off a class. I can still do a video. Um, until I can, like, like, I don't want this to ever happen, but if it does happen where I cannot like work my body the way it is, then I'll like, you know, try something else. But yeah, I just like, I'm just not going to give up like no matter what, like, and I, I always have hope that some, like this will go away or hope yeah. that there will be a medication that comes out that helps it. Because yeah. right now there's no. Medication. Is there other people that are dealing with this? There are, but um, they they say I have motor tics and there's like forums for this to like talk to other people. But like I don't, I think I have something else because like I don't know. I've talked to people with motor tics and it's not necessarily the same thing. Mm-hmm. There's other uh, movement disorders um, that I don't want to get into. There's like a list of them that I think I have one of those and there's forums for it. But I don't like going in the forums because the people in there are very like fuck the world like depressed and like mm. why would doctors do this to me because it's oh very negative this disorder is all um it's all from medication yeah it's being prescribed the wrong yeah, yeah it's not yeah. something you're born with it's something that you get prescribed by a doctor and then and, that and forms then happens. yeah Dang. so it's like so are you vaccinated i'm kidding don't answer that, <laughs> don't answer that. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's crazy so being yeah, being being grateful and then also having that mindset of like i'm gonna do this till the wheels come off kind of thing yeah, and just like hoping that there's eventually, you know, there'll be either a medication that comes mm-hmm. out or they just go away. And like, you know, I just, yeah, like, yeah just try and, I don't know, I can't give up. You know? Yeah, can't yeah, give for up. For sure. I'm I mean, like, being a, grateful I'm is like, a big a, one too. I'm an optimist, like to a fault. Like, uh-huh. I always try to find the good in everything and always, honestly, naturally just see the good in everything. And mm. so, like, who knows what could, what could even come of this? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, 100%. like you, you filming that. Uh, TV heads video didn't lead to the thing that you thought it would, but mm. could potentially lead to something Way different and bigger and yeah. better. Like, mm-hmm. not that this is gonna, you know, make your career having these, but you just, you just really never know. Like, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? You never know what that could. I don't know what it could lead to, mm-hmm. which is kind of cool. Hundred percent. And I've thought about like, I, I I've studied this stuff for th- like mental health, like OCD, like yeah. ticks, like all this shit for like three years, like. I feel like at some point I'm going to be like um, an advocate. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. And, cool, uh, an advocate for mental health and an advocate for motor tics and movement disorders because hopefully, I mean, my goal is to be very big and very yeah. like wealthy in the community of like um, entertainment like, yeah. shows and stuff. So like I can you know, Talk, tell your story. People, exactly. Yeah, tell story. And regardless of like how many followers and people you have influence over you have influence over somebody mm-hmm. like you know mm-hmm. what i mean like the Change fact that you're going one exactly life, yeah. and who knows what that one person ends up doing that's my that's always been my thing yeah. i know i'm going to impact the world in a big way i have mm-hmm. no idea how it's going to be though yeah. it could be that i influence millions or mm-hmm. it could be that i influence like one person that ends up influencing mm-hmm. millions you know what i mean mm-hmm. like so mm-hmm. you just you just never know i, I feel like your obsessive nature and like your ability to like hone in on stuff Mm -hmm. and become an expert in like things. I think it's going to translate to this and and beyond this. Yeah. The obsessive nature that you have to your art. It will work. So important. Yeah, I agree. That's, that's what I'm, that's what I think is like what happened in the future. You know, 
Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's dope, how I do. I hope, uh, I really hope that not scary farm stuff works yeah, out. Yeah, I hope that. Hope and I want to go check it out too oh, if yeah. it does happen you guys all gotta come out oh yeah, yeah for, for sure, sure. That'd be sure. That'd be sick. definitely will. we yeah. went didn't when did we go we went for like an audition one yeah time, we right? auditioned for a paula abdul show back in the day and <laughs> yeah. we got cut in like 10 seconds so yeah, we're like we fuck did. it let's go to six flags yeah we did i think nights. we on the way out we heard abdc was coming back and we're like yeah right, we're not auditioning for this anymore but we went to the audition just, just for, in case like just should we case, still do it or like i remember like that show well. like St- the paula Star. abdul yeah it yeah, yeah, yeah something long. weird yeah it did not last you know, like long. the lost kids were on there with kyle what's Jay. his name yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. no sorry Jay. no what's what's kyle, that crew uh, hagenami Hagen- what's his name hanagami hanagami he had a crew on there what was his crew do you remember his crew names lost kids when they wore the lost kids tails and stuff yeah lost boys yeah that was they were on there yeah they're tight they're That's tight. Dope. They're super tight. I love that concept. Yeah. That's dope. Well, uh, dance shows. Cool. Cool. Thanks, thanks for coming out. It was a good pod, yeah. man. That yeah. was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks um, for hanging out. Shout out to our sponsors, Hooters. What? They did not sponsor <laughs> us. Oh, I was like, I'm manifesting <laughs> it. Hooters, dude that danced. Uh, manifesting. <laughs> giving, giving that, giving them wings. You're gonna manifest, <laughs> manifest like Nike or Adidas or some, some. Because chicken breast, hold the chicken. Just kidding. Don't cancel You're me. Sick. All right. Awesome. Thanks, Max. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Appreciate dude. it, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks. <laughs>